Hi everyone. So today we are going to discuss about how to create disputes in accounts receivable or receivable cloud. So this is the key topic in Fizzan accounts receivables. Ideally, you can import and also you can create very manually also. So this is nowadays majority of the clients are using and then uh, day to day activities for creating the disputes. So this is nothing but as an automatically the system will create credit numbers. So that's where you can use this dispute functionality in accounts receivable models. And uh, what are the prerequisites are required? The one is the VPM rule, which you need to create and configure for groups also. That we'll discuss later. Functionality that I as I mentioned that is a to create dispute against AI The basic of the requisites are create a transaction type and enable built-in controls for disputes and create approval groups. The best practice always to better understanding on how to create disputes against the AI devices. That we need to create one AI numbers and create data against transaction and uh, send it for approval, log in with the approval user credentials and validate and approve it and validate credit number created or not as expected and check the customer account balance so these are the best practice once we perform this activity so let's put into application now to perform this thing so go to setup and maintenance Global search, then is transactions, types. You can press icon. The next type is this one. Star is here as I can say. Linked this one. Can use to uh, name information like that. Dispute. Select most important is transaction classes. Credit number. And okay. Date is today's date. Or you can give wallet data also. Close sign is positive data. You can give positive. Yes, keep it as it is. And these are the all the things that are open fields. If you want, you can choose any of them based on the business requirement. And assign this transaction type within a unit which we have. In this one, we will assign it. If you want to populate automatically within your retrieval accounts from this transaction type, then you can choose it. Or else, you can keep it as you know. Let me see, define this. And now, as I mentioned, approves. This I will show you later. So now we are ready to create one transaction. These two are already created in the application. So this is serial one which I used. So that I would want to showcase that again here. Yeah. Close the building. Select all the fields which are the mentor. Common name, seventeen customer. Demo purpose under quantity, then price, save, this is a transaction number double eight double seven six, completed and review, go to action, 
here you can see this is disabled now so what you have to do it save it take this transaction number you can see what it was go to navigation task panel manage transactions and search and hyperlink go to the action now now this is available now this is the window where we are the manage dispute page here you can choose the reasons dispute selection section under this you can choose any specific thing and here reason is just i'm these are the list of regions already we have which comes from the lookup code so here you can see uh, say example discount and dispute type is not required you can keep it not a whole choose the dispute quantity how much quantity do you want to make it as a dispute to create credit memo on that let's say example 50 quantity so the amount will calculate automatically by the system comments you want to can add comment here testing purpose testing purpose if you want to add any of the attachment of the dispute that the user can be able to add it here submit so once click on submit it will go for approval now you can see this is the one card created here 2006 say okay they want to close and now click on bell icon click on show all created by me select it wait for some time it, it will take some two or three minutes to populate this which we created here the previously i created one thing here that's what it is representing 2005 the same customer so wait for some time to reflect that here ideally it will take some time yes now you can see so this is the what we created credit memo nothing but as a dispute so here you can see assigned to tracy allen so this is the approver as i mentioned the ppt so we need to log into the approval credentials now just go sign out take a the user credentials trace alien submit i would say sign in here notification you can see the bell icon 2006 just click on that here the approval can ask many of the things if you go click on action you can see there are a couple of subtasks are there which is common for across all the activities request information delegate reassign push back and all of them click on approval if you want to reject you can do reject it approval submit record so re -log into our original user account which is a phase two sign in click on bell icon now we can see credit memo request approval so and so cut approved now we can notice here is approved so now go to receivables navigate building click on task panel click on minus search i will display transactions this date even a customer name so that you can do the best one here directly
select county customer click search so here notice it this is the one it, this is the actual original uh, your transaction which we created and that the credit will got created automatically when you create dispute it will turn into the credit memo automatically as per the application so click on that you can see now so what is the quantity in here you can see dispute and the quantity is 50 you have press 10 it picked from the so this is how we can create disputes automatically the system will generate and then it will upload it click on so actually i created a line level and added level df for values so i need to give that reports for that click on that and go to context value i give one bfa line so just give it as a senior say i want to close it similarly go to show resilience here also i given added level dfa values okay here save save it and uh, click on click on accounting draft click on view accounting to see the accounting entries so this is the interest card created this was debit and this credit so if you have to qualify and revenue and receivable account it's locking off by credit number it is it is reducing the receivable value where you could be able to receive much value okay that's why click on save and close check here and take the value this is the required field i kept as a required field that's why save and close so now call out the virtual invoice which we created this is the virtual invoice sorry Seven seventy six. Go to seven seventy six. This is the one. Here you can see. Click on and uh, account drop. Run the account and drop. Say okay. View balances. Now you can notice here the original transaction amount which you created. I didn't the line value one thousand dollars and tax value sixty nine point two five dollars. And uh, we created a credit memo so that it can create line value is the base amount minus 500, tax value is minus $34.63 totally by $34.63. So the balance will get reduced from the receivables. Now the customer has to pay only this is the amount. So without disturbing the original transaction, we created as credit memo by using dispute. Okay, this is the one. This is how we can create disputes. Then they won't close. So where you can see this again. So these things you can validate it in here. Go to the navigation. Click on collections. Collection. Customer is 17. Choose business unit is use one business unit. So here you can see the data. Search for that. Now we can see all the invoices what we created in the receivable application. Those things are very here over here. So this is the virtual invoice what I created, virtual invoice amount, and the current amount this is the available amount presently after we applied the I mean to say what after we created credit memo. So here you can see the values. So this is how we can see all the values. So down you can see this is the values. From here also you can create dispute. One way is that from a year application from there so they can create disputes. And from here also 
collections under that you can choose the customer which you are to refer and then select the specific transaction click on dispute it will go to the same window again where you can go to create disputes for against that so this is how we can create disputes against the air invites that's all thanks for watching my video please do subscribe and share it like it thanks for watching once again and we'll see for the videos thank you